friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Blake and I make videos on freelancing and traveling. So before we get into this video, I wanted to give a little bit of a background with my experience with freelancing and just how I kind of expanded my business. So initially I started out as a web designer, a web developer. So I learned JavaScript, HTML and CSS. And then from there, I kind of got into WordPress and then from WordPress, I kind of got into marketing. So all these tools that I'm about to list are for marketing, social media marketing, and then like web development and web design. The number one tool you need to learn and master is WordPress. And before we even get into this, you need to understand what WordPress.org and .com is and kind of explain that to your client and how they'll be saving money by using .org. So from there, you're going to want to learn WordPress. And then from WordPress, you're going to want to learn the designing tools like Elementor, Divi, things like that. Those are the two that I usually use with my clients. And that's really it. I really like how they work. After you learn the designing tools, kind of, you're going to want to understand the plugins and what plugins you want to use. Some plugins that I use are Yoast SEO and then some like some designing functionality. I don't know how to, else to say that. Like sometimes I'll use a like loading wheel or a loading page or things like that so to just kind of like flare up the website. And then, yeah, so I definitely suggest that you learn WordPress. WordPress is a great tool. WordPress is a tool that I use all the time with my clients. That's the only like platform that I will build a website with now. And you know, I could use HTML, like I could just like code it, like as in like use HTML, CSS and JavaScript. But I noticed that a lot of like, a lot of business owners like don't understand how to update their website through that or like they might not want to pay me monthly to kind of manage their website so i kind of just say like okay we're going to use wordpress i'm going to teach you how to use wordpress or you could just pay me monthly and i will be updating the website for you okay and now because i told you that i kind of went into marketing because i kind of expanded and because i wanted to make my clients more long term i didn't want to just like offer them a website i want to offer them kind of like an experience kind of like something where like Hey, let's work together for six months, 12 months and see how your business can really grow because the, the website is only like the home of growth, right? So once the website's finished, you still kind of have to market their business products, like whatever it is, right? So the next tool that I really want to talk about is Clavio slash MailChimp. And these are completely two different softwares, but they're both for, they're both for email newsletters, email automation, things like that. And I love both of them. I really appreciate with both because you can go into the CSS and make completely custom designed like emails and it just looks beautiful. And I use that every single day with my clients. So I highly suggest you learn how to use them because this is something you can offer your clients after the website's finished. Like, Hey, like I would like, I would love to add in a newsletter onto your website, which is a plugin with WordPress, right? So I'd love to add in this newsletter for you, but I'd also love to like make the emails for you. I'd love to like kind of manage the newsletter for you. And then from there, you kind of like have a monthly kind of thing going on where like they're paying you on the first of the month, this amount of money, and you're getting like two like freshly designed emails. Okay. And now once you kind of kind of work with the client and you did the emails and you kind of want to offer more things, and I'm definitely not saying offer these things just because you like know the tool and how to use them. Definitely like look into how to actually get sales for your clients and things like that. But if you're going to do the social media route, I highly suggest you use Canva. I pay for Canva pro and it completely changed my life. I have, I was able to design like professional looking work and um, kind of just give more to my client. I was able to like, I use Canva for everything. Honestly, I use Canva for my YouTube intros and for my client work for social media posting. And with Canva, you can also kind of, um, you get to whole content. So like I use Canva for everything. I use Canva for my Facebook ads, for my emails, for sometimes for the website, like literally for everything. So you're definitely going to want to get Canva. It's completely, it's, it, there is a free version, but then there's also the 1099 version that I pay monthly for. And it really is just $10 into your business every month. So I think that's like 120 a year. And you're really like, you're, it's really the best thing ever. Like you probably would get the money back from the clients anyway. So you're really not paying for anything. So I highly suggest you get Canva, you learn Canva and then you can use Canva for yourself and just kind of show off your work. And yeah, I love Canva. So I highly suggest you learn Canva and know how to use Canva and then like design great content. Another third party software I highly suggest you learn is Shopify. I think this is pretty simple to learn. There's great documentation and I think there's maybe a support group on Reddit that you could just reach out to if you have any questions, but yeah, learn Shopify. I personally, I always take the WordPress route mainly because it's better for SEO. You can add products. The client can easily log in like with Shopify. It's more of a, like, I don't know really how to explain it. I just really don't like it honestly. So, but I do suggest you learn it. I, another app I love to use is Figma. I'm sure a lot of you guys have already used it before, but I'm not sure if you know about this plugin on 
Figma, it's like called like an HTML converter. And essentially what you do is you take a link to an HTML template. So you can go to like htmltemplates.com or something, get a link of a template you like, and then put that link into the converter and then it will just come up on the uh, on Figma, like on the design. And you can go in there and edit it, change colors, and kind of just like make a mock-up for your client and then still have that template as the foundation instead of having to code everything by hand. I tend to use that a lot and it's been really helpful. It's really healthy with like my relationship with my clients. So I highly suggest you learn Figma. It's very easy to learn, very simple. You're just gonna have to download the plugin and I'll put the plugin in the description down below. Just All right guys, so that's basically the apps that I use for my clients. I really just use WordPress, Claudia slash MailChimp, Canva, Figma, and Shopify. Those have really helped me with my freelancing business and kind of just growing my business and helping others. Again, I highly suggest Canva. Super easy to use, super simple, just kind of like a drag and drop kind of system, but you can make professional looking work. So definitely get on that and kind of like allow your creativity to unlock. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, please like and subscribe. That would mean so much to me. And then, yeah, I also have a newsletter that will be in the description down below, including my course for getting into freelancing. All right, guys, thank you so much. Goodbye.